Yo, what is up guys? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. So 343 just dropped another update for Halo Infinite. But now this time around, we got some new firefight maps added to the firefight playlist. Now, unfortunately, these aren't community made firefight maps. They're just dev maps, but it does have some awesome secrets on some of these that I think it's pretty cool. So the five new maps that they added to the firefight playlist is Fragmentation, High Power, Scar, Cliffhanger, and Breaker. So it's mostly BTB maps. I think like one arena map which is cliffhanger and after playing them for a good amount of time i really did enjoy these maps especially the ones with the secret weapons and custom equipment because some of these maps have a custom equipment that spawns ai allies to assist you capturing these hills which is really awesome for example on fragmentation there's the custom equipment a which gives you marine followers it gives you about like it gives you about like three or four marines that follow you around and i think spawn with snipers they can also they could also jump on a mongoose with you if you want that. And you could also swap weapons with them, give them more powerful weapons, or if you just want to yoink all their snipers. And not only that, but there's also a hidden equipment that you can find at the edge of the map, which is called Custom Equipment B. And that one spawns, instead of marines, it spawns elite defenders, which is, I believe, two red elites that go defend the hill. And yeah, that one's a secret equipment. It's at the edge of the map in a drop pod. And I don't think it responds once you use it once. As for the other one, for the Marines, that one does respond every single round. Fragmentation also has a campaign variant weapon spawner in the center of the map. So far, I've only gotten the, the Striker Sidekick and the Riven Mangler. I don't know if it spawns other campaign variants. Maybe it does. But all I know is that in the center of the map, there's actually a campaign variant spawner, which is pretty cool. And there's also one little secret on that map, and this one's really cool, and that is the sidekick sniper weapon, which is just a sidekick pistol that shoots sniper rounds. But the way you find it is pretty fun because it's hidden on the map. Now this is the cool part. So that sidekick weapon spawns on a cone, and if you played Halo 2, then you know what that is. It's just like back in Halo 2 where they had the scarab gun. Back then you were able to get the scarab gun that was hidden on top of like a building or something and it had a cone underneath it so they kind of give like a little throwback to that which is funny and yeah i mean other than that this weapon is good because you could always refill its ammo so it never runs out now i'm assuming this one also doesn't respawn it's a one-time use so if you die with it you're pretty much you're never seen it again as it's just gonna despawn really do like the additions of all these cool little secrets on these maps so the next map i want to talk about is high power and high power i played like i think one match of that one and i haven't found any secrets on that one so i think that one just might be like a regular map if anyone has found secrets on that one definitely let me know but so far i haven't found anything on that one and on to the next map which is scar which is another btb map the banished one i don't know if this is a secret but there is a diminisher hammer in the center that spawns it's a one-time use only but you're actually able to refill its ammo because there's power weapon ammo in the towers and so Scar also has an AI ally that you can get, which is this time around an elite zealot, which is the gold elite. And he spawns with a cinder shot and energy sword, and he's pretty freaking devastating, as he actually camouflages as well. And you can actually stack these up, you can call in more than one. Now what's cool about the elite zealot is that he can actually detect other camo elites, so when you're fighting like Jaga or just other camo elites, he actually helps you out there a lot because it can be difficult dealing with the camo elites. So that about wraps up Scar. That's about everything I found. There's no secret weapon unless you count the Diminisher Gravity Hammer as a secret weapon. But other than that, the next map, which is Cliffhanger, that one, once again, I think that's just more of a regular map. There's not much cool stuff on there that I have found so far, at least to my knowledge. I haven't found any cool secret little things. But on to the last map, which is Breaker, which personally is probably... <laughs> I used to actually really like this map and then I've grown to like really not like it but of course for firefight it works so this map also has ai allies except this time around you get hunter followers now this one is actually kind of hidden as well just like fragmentation this one you have to find in a drop pod that spawns on one of the sides of the map on top of like the wreckage of that ship and yeah once you're able to get it it spawns two hunter allies and on this map specifically only this map there's a convergence bulldog weapon spawn which is in the center of the map and this one just stays as the convergence bulldog if you've used that weapon before it's really good and yeah just consistently responds so you definitely want to be picking that up every time you can so breaker also has a ghost which i don't think any other firefight map has at least to my knowledge i could if i remember correctly anyways other than that that's about everything that i've experienced on these maps and all the secrets i've discovered i honestly really did enjoy it because i like just looking for secrets and stuff it's one of my favorite things to do even if these are not too difficult to find 
And just having AI allies is really awesome. I'm glad they actually did that because I remember back in Halo Reach, I think it was only on the DLC map, which was Installation 04. They actually had ODSTs that helped you out. And so it kind of reminds me of that, except of course it's done better because you actually got like hunters and other types of AI that help you. So with that being said, let me know what you guys think about these new Firefight maps. I definitely had a great time with them. I mean, I already like Firefight itself. So this just added on to that fun factor. And I'm definitely going to continue grinding these out. And who knows, maybe I'll discover more secrets. If there is any, that is. So consider subscribing and liking the video as it shows your support. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.